I always believed in myself, you know, um, had good people around me who, who believed in me as well. So I came here wanting to break into the first team and, and that's what I've done. And every step after that, I tried to keep pushing myself and I'm still doing that today. Um, I'm, not t I'm not saying I've made it yet either because I like to keep pushing myself. So I think that's what's, what's keeping me going. Um, I like I like um to I suppose prove people wrong. I suppose when I when I come over first, maybe not a lot of people, you know, it's a, it's quite a big step up to go from Sligo Rovers to the Premier League. So you know, you have people that maybe doubt you, although a lot of people from my hometown were obviously great and wished me well. But I'm sure in the whole of Ireland, not everyone would think that you're gonna make the step up. So I I like to um. I've always been like that. I've always been motivated from playing Gaelic when I was younger. I've always been a motivated person, and and that's what kind of drives me on to to get to the top. You know, keep going and and keep going as best I can. I know a lot of people go over to England when they're when they're fifteen or sixteen years of age. I personally think if I had went over at that age, I would have been back by the time I was eighteen, nineteen, because. You know, I would have struggled being away from home. I was homesick en enough when I went away at uh, at 20, so I think I would have struggled at that age. But I was playing with, I suppose, men from the age of 17, 18, and, and uh, I missed all the youth things. So I suppose I missed out on the on the coaching side of things, but I got a lot more from the league that, that stood me well and, and, and I made the step up quite, uh, quite easy enough, I suppose, yeah. I've always been a, an attacking, an attacking fullback. You know, my time at Sligo, Paul Cook um, knew that I was quite a fit lad, and, and he wanted me attacking as much as I could. And I suppose that was my only goal for Sligo. I've got a couple more for Everton, but it's a massive part of my game. You know, is is an attacking fullback, and and my fitness levels is something that I that I'm proud of, and and it's something that I can that can keep me going for the ninety minutes. I think sometimes because you're such an attack and fullback, people tend to think that you're not so good defensively because you're, I suppose, you're attacking. Your attacking side of things might might look better on the TV, but I'd like to think I can do a job defensively. I've played against um, good wingers, and you know it's something that uh, David Moyes and now Roberto Martinez work on as well as your defensive side of the game. So I'd like to think I'm as capable defensively as I am attacking. But I know people would rather see you scoring goals at the back post than um, you know defending at the back post but um, I'd like to think I'm capable of both. Yeah without a doubt um, I've always said that you know since I was young like playing for Killybegs under 10s 12s right up to minors you know we were a successful group where um, we won most things at underage level but we we're quite a committed group we we're a a tight bunch of lads but we were all motivated you know we'd get up go training at eight in the morning and stuff like that so um i think that that definitely helped me you know the commitment side of things the motivation side of things i took that into sligo rovers and i've took it over here as well and i've got i've definitely got that mentality and i think it's it's definitely stood me well one of my favorite players for donegal is is obviously michael murphy i think He's a he's a great ambassador for Donegal. He's he's a great person off the pitch and and on the pitch he's a he's a fantastic player. So um, I'll stick to a Gaelic player and say Michael Murphy. I obviously felt that I probably should have got more caps than I did under than I did because um, I was playing quite well at the time for Everton and and the manager didn't see fit to put me in but I think on the other hand Ireland were doing really well they qualified for a major tournament and you know I know the the media side of things wanted me playing but I never had a problem with with Giovanni Trapattoni and if anything you know I learned a lot from him too on my defensive side of things as well We're obviously disappointed with the with the Scotland game. We would have liked to get something from that, but um, the lads done absolutely brilliant to get a result out in Germany. And you know, uh, we've still got Poland to play at home and and uh, home and away, and we've got Scotland. So it's still early days in the group, and and I'm sure that we can qualify. That's a good question. Um, it's it's uh, it's hard to explain. You know, when you're um when you're growing up as a kid, you know, you're playing you're playing in the 
housing estate with your friends and you all want you all want to be your Damien Duffs or your Robbie Kings and and um to actually play with them and put on the jersey it's a special feeling and when the national anthem is on you know it's a uh, it's hard to explain to be honest you can't really put it into words but it's something that you dream of and I suppose your dreams come true really.